Pablo Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, ceramicist, and theater designer. He was born in 1881 in southern Spain, but lived most of his adult life in France. In 1973, Picasso died in southeastern France at age 91. Throughout his career, his best-known work is Guernica. The painting shows the artist's impression of the feelings of the civil population during the aerial bombardment of the Basque town of Guernica in April 26, 1937. The painting currently resides in the Museo Reina Sofia, Madrid, Spain. He started work in January 1937, not long after the bombing of the town of Guernica happened. Picasso's Guernica was completed in only 35 days. It is a huge painting, standing at 11 and a half feet tall by 25 and a half feet long. When you first see it, it gives you the impression of being a mural. However, it was painted on canvas using a special matte paint with the least possible gloss. The color palette was reduced to black and white with some blue, black, and a combination of grays that could be derived from the base colors. When you look at the painting, every part of it screams distress and agony. All the human figures except one look skyward with their mouths open as though they were crying in pain. That includes the bull, the horse, and the human face looking downward. A mother is shown holding a dead child in her arms while the bull's tail is on fire. For some historians, the bull represents the people of Spain and the horse, the fascists of Franco. For others, the opposite is true. When Picasso was asked about the meaning of the horse and the bull, he simply responded, the bull is just a bull and the horse is just a horse. Several curologists have stated that the lines on the hands of the painting speak of pain, suffering, and bad luck. Not a far-reaching interpretation given the subject of the painting. Picasso's daughter tells a story of how people asked her father about the lines on the hands of the painting. Pablo's reply, invariably, was that he had no understanding as to the meaning of the lines, although it is implied he did know the meaning but didn't want to attract any attention regarding it. Many reviewers of the painting believe that the sun with the light in the middle represented the explosions from the bombs that rained on Guernica. There are also hidden images within the Guernica. The harlequin that cries a diamond tear is the symbol of duality, the one that has the power of life and death. It is il pagliaccio that laughs instead of cries. 88-year-old Fernando Botero is a very well-known Colombian painter and sculptor. His works have the peculiarity that they are done in a volumetric stylization. In other words, the subjects are not fat but voluminous. The article 10 Things to Know about Fernando Botero in Christie's Magazine states he has remained adamant that he does not paint fat people. What he paints, he insists, is volume and the sensuality of form. The painting and sculpting of exaggeratedly rotund figures is now known as Boterismo. He also makes copies of other famous paintings such as the Mona Lisa in his own unique style. Sometimes he does social commentary about the abuse of power through his works of art. Botero's Dancing in Colombia portrays a rotund man and woman dancing in a small cafe in front of a taller yet equally rotund band uh, with cigarette butts and fruits all over the floor. Botero has painted several similarly named paintings that have different backgrounds and a different man and woman as dancing partners. In this painting, Botero wanted to show that even though the Colombians have lived through a civil war state over the last 50 years, they can still find a way to enjoy themselves. The musicians represent the gift of music that Colombia has given to the world. Colombian music is danced all over the world, particularly in Latin America and among Spanish speakers in the USA, where it is the favorite party music. Dancing in Colombia is a fairly good sized oil on canvas painting. It is a little over six feet by seven and a half feet. We see a man and a woman dancing together while the band plays behind them. The musicians are considerably larger. They look gigantic by comparison as they take up a majority of the painting filling in the rectangle of the canvas. The overall texture of the piece is rather soft and smooth, 
making it feel as though everything were made of soft materials, the only exception being the floor having a slightly rougher texture. There is an occasional wrinkle in the clothing just to add a touch of dimensionality. There are a few patterns of texture in the piece, however, there is a repetitiveness in the softness of the form of the instruments held by the musicians. Picasso's Guernica is massive in size compared to Botero's Dancing in Colombia. The Botero will fit in a small corner of the Picasso, even though Botero's is not a small painting by any means. Guernica depicts the horrors and pain of war, while Dancing in Colombia shows the happiness of a people that, although dealing with an internal war of guerrillas and paramilitaries, still can have fun. While Picasso uses the two-dimensional flat geometry of cubism to depict the victims of the painting, Botero uses the plumbness of his volumetric figures to show the exuberance of his musicians and dancers. In the Guernica, the lack of thick contour lines and the monochromatic colors used to make it deceptively flat. That is the genius of cubism, to visualize how a two-dimensional picture can be seen in 3D. The great visual effects artist and animator Lina Gisica created a 3D version of Guernica that can be seen in Open Culture's website. No such 3D creation has been made of the Botero painting. However, when you examine Dancing in Colombia, you cannot help but noticing how the painter uses size to shorten the depth of the, of the piece. The dancers are substantially smaller than the musicians in the background, violating the tenets of perspective. But this violation of the rules gives the picture that the desire effect of appearing voluminous in a cramped and tight space. That is the genius of Boterismo. <clears throat>